Hello friends, welcome back to Aurab Associates. Today we will model staircase in this structure and we will also replicate story 2 up to the story 7. So before starting modeling of staircase we have to understand that we will model this staircase between z equal to 18 feet and z equal 8 feet. That means from story 1 to story number 2. So we have to take a reference plan at z equal 13 feet where uh, we will model landing beam and landing slab. So go to edit, edit stories and grid system, modify slash show grid system, reference plan, add, we will take 13 feet here that means z equal 13 feet ok ok refresh view ok another thing you can um, minimize the size of this like by changing the bubble size if you uh, provide 20 in that case this will become smaller ok fine now uh, we will model staircase so at first we can model landing beam at z equal to 13 feet so select this one then from here select lb equal okay then model a landing beam here then we have to replicate this beam because this landing uh, slab is can be so from here we can see the distance is 4 feet so select this one and replicate this up to 4 feet in y direction the value will be positive here apply ok so we can model a landing slab here in this time you have to provide local axis as 90 degree because this is one way in y direction let me do this one again I feel there may have some error select this one joint grid another grid then join ok now delete this one fine uh, go to story number 2 we need this uh, beam we need this beam or we can do another thing we can do that like we can model a beam here uh, as non beam as non beam from this to this position ok then we can replicate this one we can replicate this one for what is the distance let me check from the center from the center uh, the distance is 3 feet 11 inches let's take 4 feet so i will replicate this one up to 4 feet then delete the non beam now select this one and by right clicking of mouse from here provide a section property of b 12 by 21 ok fine this is the intermediate beam here we have to make some work there have some also intermediate beam that at first uh, let us complete modeling so uh, now what we can do we can divide this frame into two parts so that we can snap better during the time of modeling of our waist slab so divide into two frame object okay now what we can do we can model a slab here slab six inch one way we can name it it will be one way in y direction so select okay fine now go to um, story one we need a slab here also we need a slab here also or what we can do just uh, we can replicate this beam just uh, select this one this one with the slab then uh, you can replicate them select again sorry this has been divided again no need okay fine now we can replicate them replicate them to the story this time we will uh, replicate from story 2 to the story number 1 apply ok now go to 
this floor now we can start modeling of our slab okay from here we can start modeling of our waste slab basically so from here i will select uh, waste slab this time i will provide local axis as zero because our uh, waste slab is one way in x direction if you look carefully you will understand it easily that this slab is one way in x direction okay so no need to change a uh, local axis that means it will remain zero fine then i start from here this is uh, z equal 8 feet that means from ground floor or story one whatever you say then go to up upper floor that means to the replica uh, reference plan then select this one okay then select the midpoint for getting this joint for getting this joint so easily we have divided uh, those beams nothing else then go back to z number 8 when is z equal 8 okay so you can see in this window that uh, one waste slab has been modeled okay let me show you again if anyone feel problem let me show you again we will start from z equal 8 we will select this one our waste slab is one way in uh, x direction so we will keep here zero then we will start from this side now we are at z equal 8 then we will go to the reference plane that means uh, at the level where landing slab is um, present then select this point okay select this point then select the midpoint this will come here as joint because uh, we have uh, divided the frame joint then we will come back from 13 feet to the 8 feet again okay okay now right click here you can see that this uh, waste slab has been modeled now go back to the z equal 13 feet that means we will start another waste slab from 13 feet to 18 feet now select this one from start from this joint now go upper floor that means z equals 18 feet then select the joint that means this is the midpoint here then select this joint then come back to the z equal 13 feet that's very simple we will go from 8 to 13 then 13 to 18 finally come back to the 13 and fine you can see that this portion has been also been modeled okay by this way you can model uh, staircase very easily okay you just have to understand the concept now what we can do we can merge this uh, divided shell we can merge them or join them you can see this has been joined again then you can uh, select this one and join them again maybe there have another one at ground floor okay select them and join them this is the join frame option okay now uh, modeling has been done uh, totally done for story 2 we can replicate this story uh, to the upper floor okay but before replicating story 2 i would like to complete some more important works here like this is a secondary beam so we have to release moment for this beam this one is also secondary beam this beam is secondary at this part this beam is secondary at this part similarly this one is also a secondary beam so we have to release moment here at first select this beam go to assign go to frame go to release slash partial fixity then for this beam we have to release moment at start and end okay both for start and end we have to release mom m22 and m33 apply for this beam we have to do the same work but for this beam we have to release moment only at end okay so we will uncheck start this will apply now select this beam for this beam we have to select or release moment only at start so uncheck end and check mark start okay finally apply for this beam this beam is secondary at both parts so select here start and both end okay press apply now uh, we can go to story one here this one is also secondary beam so release moment for both side now press ok now finally we can replicate our structure ok now go to edit edit story and grid system modify slash show story data 
from here right click of mouse add a story keep existing story height here we can provide a story height as 10 feet then number of a story we will provide here 6 then see a uh, new story location this will be inserted above story 2 we can change them if we need it then replicate new story from existing story 2 that means upper story will take data from story 2 okay now press ok here press refresh view So finally, you can see that we have modeled a G plus six storied building. This one is this one is G. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. In next tutorial, we will see how we can model water tank and lift machine room in our structure. That's all for today. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.